Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Horizon Zero Dawn! I'm Sub Ponegat Poster, and well, it's been a hot minute. Um, a few things have happened. I uh, had a hard drive explosion, lost a ton of footage, and um, I switched from PS4 to PS5, so things might look a little different here and there going forward. Um, also, Horizon Zero 2 came out, and unfortunately, Lance Reddick passed, so R.I.P. Silence. Sunfall. The Mad King Duran Summer Palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling Forbidden West. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this, Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. And since it's been a while, Sunfall is uh, where the ring was that they took all of their sacrifices for the Red Raids. And um, it's just up here. It's rather impressive. Can't see much right now due to the sandstorm. There we go. Kind of cleared up a little bit. And, of course, instead of doing what we're supposed to, we're gonna go fucking around and do some side questing first. And by the terrain, if you can't tell, this is Bryce National Park. My father says the sun is testing us. What if... what if we fail the test? Um, kid, I think you're already screwed. She's very pale. Is she unwell? Yes. She's a fighter, but the fever on her won't lift. It only burns hotter. Her name is Shiana, my sister. Isn't there anyone in Sunfall who can help? We're refugees. We know our place. And there's only one healer in the territory. He's <sighs> difficult. An asshole? His soul is in shadow. His soul is in shadow. Galiv. That's him. He's very clever, but he has little care for people. Perhaps the desert scoured it all away. Perhaps he was always like that. Either way, I know he won't help us. Well, I'll see about that. Where would I find him? Last I heard, he was patching up soldiers at Blazon Arch. Another border battle. Shh. I'll keep the moon from your brow. So now we gotta go talk to a dude down at Blazing Arch. We've been there before, so at least we can fast travel. I never. Mark that as our active quest, so we're not being prompted to do something else. Plus, so we can find where the fuck we're going. And Blazon Arch is set on Lake Powell. Another real-life location that is currently rather fucked up due to the multi-year drought that we've been going through. It's about 20 feet below its usual level. Southern deaths, weird disappearances... Nice armor, dude. Not very protective, though. I fear this ceasefire is a ruse. A vod's a murderer. Nice embellishment. No, don't. Oh, there he is. Are you Galiv, the healer? I had planned to spend the day gazing at the lands of my exile and feeling sorry for myself. But you're not from Sunfall, so this could be... That is a rather magnificent beard. I came from the tent city there. There's a sick girl. Her brother told me about you. The answer is no. What? No, I can't spare the medicine. Nor my time to administer it. My resources are already spread thin. Thin as the soiled cloths I have to use for dressings. 
Uh, let's start nice. Why won't you help? Look at it from my perspective. What meager goods I can get must be smuggled in. That's expensive. The behemoth's share goes to the military. Of course, there are the demands of the Citadel. Helis's kestrels are so prone to sticky ends. What's left, that's for the nobles, who can pay well for my services. Look at it from my perspective. A little girl is sick. I think we are calling to each other across an ideological impasse. What's stopping me from just making you do it? I'd have to cause a situation. And you wouldn't harm the only healer disgraced enough to work for the Shadow Karja, would you? Well, we've only just met, but yes, it's tempting. And take it up with the Citadel. They decide who lives and dies. Nothing you can do would compare to my punishment if I use the last of my stock on a tent girl. <sighs> You're kind of an ass. Thank you. There's no cure for a conscience, but in this line of work, I've built up an immunity to it. And yet, if you feel so strongly about this one girl, perhaps we can make a deal. My charity for a Thunderjaw heart. That's not how charity works. It is how deals work. You'd settle my debts for a while. Those parts aren't exactly easy to come well, They're not by. exactly hard to come by either, so... The Valley of Omens, north and west of here. I know it well because they expect me to put its victims back together. Runaways, mostly. If I do this, it's not for you. Oh, I'm not expecting you to do it at all. But I'll be heading back to the Citadel later. Fine. So yeah, Galeev's kind of an asshole, but... I guess he has, we'll say, a legitimate reason for not helping out. The uh, Shadow Karja want him to heal all their sick and things like that, but apparently they won't give him supplies or pay for anything, so... Eh, I guess. Sort of like American healthcare. Pew, 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 pew. Strider! And I teleported to this campfire and... There's all these things around because of the uh, tall neck right nearby, and I figured, well, I'd just watch for a bit. No. That dude got owned. <laughs> Thank your foe. This escalates pretty quickly. It starts off with a couple of striders, then you got long legs, the kicking chicken. I'm done. Am I done? Don't turn your back on the enemy. <laughs> oh dear. Well, what a shame. Let me just add to the chaos because why not? Oh, hey, buddy. And uh, Horizon Forbidden West, they change the mechanics on overrides and machines only stay overridden for a certain period of time. It's not permanent like it is in 
Zero Dawn. And to be honest, I prefer the first game's method. And like, what more? Oh, a couple of Ravagers, too. So yeah, I guess be careful teleporting to that campsite, because Jesus. Some travelers over here. Yeah, this whole area is just not real safe, we'll say. And uh, one of the Ravagers noticed our chicken. Help him out. Ah! Wrong button! It's a start. Oh, he's limping. I think we're done here. Good times. That will never get old. What the fuck? Fucking physics! How do they work? pretty good haul for doing pretty much nothing except watching. Pig. Take a pot shot at us. fuck I was doing here. Maybe getting a drink. Uh, I don't... Riveting gameplay. Oh, there we go. <whistles> what the hell is my horse doing way the fuck over there? Cheap. Whatever. They got rid of the horses in HDD2. I don't know why. But, uh, they did open up a few more critters you can ride, which are... Some of them are a lot of fun. place to fight in. It's fairly open, but most of the problems you run into is that a lot of these uh, formations, rock formations, just dead end into little cul-de-sacs, whatever you want to call them. So if you're trying to run away from them, you can corner yourself if you're not careful. 
Uh, we'll just get set up a bit here. Let's go to town! I'll take that, please. Ah. Well, that's pretty much taken care of that. I whistle for my horse here. End up doing it again in a second, too. Press wrong button. Ugh. Other than fucking up a bunch of button presses, that went pretty well. And of course, since that's a uh, plot creature, it gives what you need in the drop. You should appreciate these brief moments of sunshine. Who knows how long they'll last? Seeing the sun gives me hope for a minute. I have your machine part. A deal's a deal. See to the girl, and it's yours. On my oath. But tell me. If this girl survives, what do you suppose is her future? It's better than not having a future at all. What a charming notion. Come, come, let's be quick about this. Kindness doesn't keep well in the heat. Perhaps the ceasefire will boost morale in some fall. The sun knows we need it. Seems like every day I hear it's you. New and... Hello again. I've brought someone to see your sister. How did you? What did we do to deserve? No, wait. I don't even want to ask. In case a shadow passes over and it's gone. Smart boy. She'll have his full attention, won't she? Once I'm freed of other distractions, yes. Well, there we go. I heard old Bahavis is hiring cutthroats to weed out enemies and traitors. Well, good for him. Alright, well, that's gonna do it for this episode of Let's Play Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm Symphonic Imposter. Join us again next time.